spoke to Yana Pittman about um, the donor situation. I hope I'm not asking you questions. No. That, so the donor situation. So do you have a discussion with your partner about what type of donor you're after? Like, you know, I want a five foot two bloke and no, I want a six foot nine yeah. bloke or I want a bloke with blonde hair. Does it get that specific or how, how do you, or do you just take what you get as my son would say and don't get upset? Well, you just, you know, you, you try to get Liam Hemsworth, don't you? <laughs> right. Or Chris. Okay. Or any so of basically <laughs> the Hemsworth, he's okay. Okay. That's no. still a reasonably narrow field, but, I know, feel. Like, honestly, it, um, it is a big, <laughs> it is a big process trying to pick the donor. It's a massive, like, it's a massive decision when you think about it. But, um, it so is, how much specificity, I don't know, that's not a word. How, how much detail? Is there a form where you can? Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's so detailed it's like car shopping online but on steroids because you literally like i'm not saying you pick you know you literally pick um you can pick hair color eye color height weight um and the background checks on on all their donors and obviously different um banks are, are different but ours had it was so thorough it's almost like you you know the donor who they are you just can't see them wow they supply a baby photo and an adult photo um, and obviously the donors have options whether they want to supply these photos. You can hear them talk in interviews. Oh, you hear them? You, yeah. So, so you get a real feel for you them. You really do hmm. and you just don't know them. And so we literally, without looking at any photos, Tracy and I, we compiled our own list because literally there's so many, so many donors we compiled a list of our top 10 and then we combined our list to see if any matched. And I think we, we were able to get down to three that we had similar interests in. And that's when then we started doing the um, more real in-depth um, research. I mean, they had um, health checks on your grandparents, aunts and uncles, everything. Like it's really, really detailed. Hmm. And um, then we opted to um, look at the photos and just to get a feel of, you know, who who might just – we might naturally gravitate towards. And then you've also got to go on a waiting list as well. So not only do you have to pick, then it's almost like, well, are they even available? So And if you go on the big guns at the top, if you go – Well, you the, know, the if Hemsworth you're taller, types. it's more expensive. Is it? Like the pedigree, yeah. It so costs more if you're taller. Well, that we noticed. Like if, wow. if you're like – and if you've got a very good education, if you're tall, yeah, you might – your yeah, your stuff right. might be worth more. So you're in more demand. <laughs> yes. And obviously you're both professional athletes. Did you still do – can you look at how athletic the person may or may not be? Like you've got the – Yeah, you can – You can. Um, like they generally have their interests, whether they played sports. A lot of these donors we found were medical students or um, uh, college students that needed another way to pay for okay. college. So, but uh, you know, a lot of them, our donor, he had interest in sports, and obviously that's something we were, you know, we gravitated towards. Yep. But more, more so when you're trying to pick a donor, it's like. 99% of it is around the background of their health and were they ever a smoker, their parents, just like like s that kind of huh. stuff. And it literally, once we at least got down to three, it was just a massive chunk of time going through all these different donors. It was, yeah, quite just, yeah, it blows, blows your mind. Well, I didn't, I, I must admit, I didn't know it was that in-depth. Yeah. I didn't know the tall most could charge more. Yeah. <laughs> How tall are you? Well, I'm nearly 6'2", <laughs> so I wonder what I'm worth. Yes, you'd be worth a bit. Yeah, but I'm getting on, I think. <laughs> I'm on the way down. I'm really on and the you slippery surf? slope. Yeah, I surf. And you're Australian? Yeah, oh. I'm Australian. I'm decent education, never smoked. The American market, you'd be in demand. There you go. Maybe there's a little side hustle. <laughs> <laughs> Help pay the mortgage down. <laughs> <laughs> now, we need to move on from that. <laughs> People are shaking their heads. Hey guys, Howie here. Thank you so much for watching the Howie Games YouTube channel. We appreciate your support. Now, if you want to hear the full podcast, you can just click on the link directly below. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which would be fantastic, bang, click right there. And if you want to see more clips, highlights and updates from the Howie Games, just go that way. Thanks so much. As always, take it easy and peace and love.